Hello everyone. This video shows you how to use some of the basics of Uscript in order to quickly create some gameplay. Because this video is focused on using Uscript, I've already created a scene's assets such as models, animation, material, and sounds, and game object placement. The only script I have created is to move the player capsule with the arrow keys. We'll be showing you different ways to do player control within Uscript in another video. So as you can see, we have a small sci-fi scene set up with a doorway and a console. If I go through the door, nothing happens. I go over to the console, nothing happens. So the next step is to bring the scene to life. There are two major things we're going to do in this scene. The first is set up an alarm system for the doorway. The second is allow a way for the player to disable the alarm by hacking a console through a simple key press. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is make an alarm go off if you get too close to the doorway. In order to do that, I have set up a trigger in front of the door that we'll use in Uscript. As part of the alarm setup, we will also be rotating these two lights. And as you can see, the light component is currently disabled. We also have an alarm audio sound that we'll be playing. Let's get everything hooked up in Uscript. The first thing we'll want to do is set up our trigger to fire off the alarm. To do that, we need to go to the events section in the node palette and select trigger events. Now we need to tell Uscript we want to use our alarm trigger for this event. We can do that by dragging the trigger from the hierarchy into the properties panel. So I'm going to select the trigger, grab the trigger from the hierarchy, and drop it in. Now that we have our trigger event ready to go, let's get our lights turning on and rotating. The first thing we should do is bring our two alarm lights in as variables. To that we'll just drag and drop them in. So as you can see, we have both of our lights in as variables. Now that we have our lights in Uscript, we're going to have to toggle their components on, because if you remember, we had them disabled by default in the scene. So in order to do that, we'll just go to Action, Toggle, and select Toggle Component. Let's bring this up here. And we'll hook up the lights as the target. And what we're going to want to do is turn them on when you hit the trigger. So to do that, we'll just hook up the unenter trigger to the turn on. And now we have to tell Uscript what component we want to actually turn on these objects. So we're just going to create a link variable. And we'll type in light, which is the component that we want. OK, now that we have that set up, let's just save the scene. And we'll just call this alarm setup. And now let's close Uscript and test our work. OK, let's hit play. And move through the trigger. And the lights turn on. So that's the beginning of the alarm setup. Now we need to make the lights rotate, turn off when you leave the trigger, and then also add the alarm sound. Let's go do that now. First, let's get the lights to turn off when you're not in the trigger. That's really easy. We just go to the on exit trigger and we just tell the same lights to turn back off. So now we want the lights to rotate when we turn them on. In order to do that, we go over to Action, Game Objects, and click on the Rotate. I'm just going to place this over here. Now let's set up the Rotate action. To do that, we're going to pass from the Out here to the input of the Rotate. We want to rotate the same lights, so I'll just link them up. And now we're going to set a couple different variables on the rotate. So first of all, we're going to create a link variable. And this is the number of degrees. So we'll say 360 because we want them to go all the way around. We're going to set our axis. For this, we'll just set it to Y. And we want them to take one full second to go around. And we do want them to loop, so when it gets to the end, it'll start over again. Okay, let's save and give this a try really quick. So 
So as you can see, the lights are now rotating. But I think it would look better if they rotate in opposite directions. So we're going to go make a change really quick. Stop this. Load up uScript. Okay, in order to make one of the lights rotate in a different direction, I'm going to select all this. Copy it. I'll paste it down here. Hook this up as well. And we'll just pick this light and we'll hook it up to here instead. And then all we need to do is change our degrees to be negative. And this one will go in the opposite direction. Okay, the last thing to do is add our sound effect. I'm just going to pan this over here a little bit. And now we're going to come over to Action, Audio, and Play Sound. So put, let's put this up here. Okay, so we know what sound we're going to play. Alarm. So we're going to feed that in as the file name. Resource path is under Audio. And the target is the object we're going to play it on. Well, we might as well play it on the trigger since that's where we're going to be. So we'll grab that and just feed that in here. Set the volume to 1. We'll want it to loop as long as you're in the trigger. And now we just have to hook it up. So what we'll do is when the toggle's turned on, we'll feed that into play. But when it's turned off, we'll feed it into stop. So that should get us starting and stopping automatically. And again, as you can see, I didn't actually place exposed variables here. Instead, I just typed them in the properties. You could do it either way. I'm just trying to do a mixture so I can show you how it works. Okay, let's save this and give it a shot. Into the trigger. So as you can see, the lights now rotate, they turn on, and the alarm sounds. As soon as you leave the trigger area, everything stops. So the first part's done. Let's keep going. The last thing we need to do to the alarm setup is pretty simple in script as well. We need to make the doors animate and open and close. In order to do that, we just need to play animation node. Type in animation in the filter. And place the node. Now we're eventually going to need two of these because we're going to want to play an open and close animation. Actually, we're going to use the same animation. We're just going to change the speed factor. But first, let's set up the open animation. So I'm going to hook up from the output of the turn on. And we're going to have to grab the object that we want. In this case, we want the door panels. Drag that into the scene. Hook it up. And we'll set up everything else in the properties panel. So the animation we want is called Moto Anim, because I did use Moto to make this animation, and that's its default. Speed factor, we're going to set that to 3, because we actually want the doors to close pretty quick. We'll stop any other animations the doors might be playing, and we're done. So now I'm just going to copy and paste this. And we're going to hook this up to the off. And we use the same exact game object for the target. And all we really need to do now is change the speed factor to negative 3, and it'll play the same animation in reverse at the same speed. Hit save. And now we can try it out. Okay, now let's just hit play and see the animations in action. We have now completed the door alarm portion of the gameplay. In part 2, we will set up the terminal to be hacked in order to disable the door alarm. As part of that, we will cover detecting key input, global variables, changing properties, and a couple other uScript features. See you then.